Hey, Tyson. Um, are you kind of just happy to get this one out of the way uh, without any injuries or any incident, incidents and now moving on to the playoffs? Yeah, exactly. Um, would have been nice to nice to end on a high note, but uh, we've had a great season and, um, you know, now the now the important stuff starts. So um, nice to get that one out of the way. Um, Chase on's goal looked like it might have crossed the line there, I think, with five minutes to go in the second period. Was there any talk in the dressing room about it at all or it looked like it just didn't seem like a big deal? Yeah, I, I think, you know, we had a quick look at it on the bench, but we didn't get a whistle for, you know, till the end of the period. So I think you would have had to go back and play the last six minutes, but it looked like it was maybe a bit of, uh, you know, it still had a bit of the paint on it. So um, I don't know, that's a video, video coach coaches call. And um, I think the league maybe would have stepped in if, if they saw it go in. So, um, yeah. Rob Tchaikovsky, Post Media. Hi hey Tyson. Uh, so the regular season is obviously over now. On, on one hand, it was a real challenge for you guys. There was, you know, we locked in hotels. There's no fans. The schedule is changing all the time. There's a pandemic going on. On the other hand, it was one of the most successful seasons in Oilers history. So I know that the playoffs will ultimately decide how this year is remembered. But just looking back specifically on, on the 56 games, uh, how do you view that? How will you remember uh, this season? Yeah, I think it's it's uh, it's a good season for us. We we made strides. We started out uh, slow. We struggled a bit. Took a took a little bit to find our legs, and um, you know, and and to finish where we did, we we you know we secured uh, home ice for the first round. And um, I mean, it's uh, it's a good season. I think there's a lot of a lot of things that happened this year that were uh, a lot of fun to be a part of, and um, you're proud to be a part of. But uh, you know, nobody remembers a good season if you don't follow it up with a, a run in the playoffs. So, it's um, you know, it, it's time to it's time to really get to work here, and, and we look forward to to the playoffs. Was there anything about the that North Division schedule, the way it was formulated, or anything about the, 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 the you know the interdivisional play that, that you would like to see maybe take taken forward in some form or another uh, to future seasons? Uh I mean, it's it's tough. I think you don't, uh, you know, you don't you don't want to be locked in hotels and, and be doing this whole thing. But there's definitely some rivalries that have you know sprung up, and um, I think you know people enjoy watching the Canadian matchups, and uh, we'll see we'll see what happens uh, in the future. But I, I know they've talked a little bit about keeping some more you know Canadian teams uh, going against each other more often. But um, we'll see what the the virus allows for next year, and um, hopefully we can get back to normal. Jim Matheson, Post Media. Uh, Tyson, uh, how difficult is it to play a game when you're trying to get through the game and not get hurt, but still play the game so you're not, you know, I guess not guarding against injury? Yeah, there's, uh, you know, you obviously don't want to be out there floating around. I think that's, you're probably more prone to injury at that point, but you just want to play a normal game. And, um, you know, I think you saw a lot of guys get, you know, reduce minutes and other guys get a chance to play a little more and stuff. But, um, you know, the big thing is, is, is you make it out and everyone's healthy and, um, you know, we're, we're rested now and we're, we're you know, we're going to have practice Monday, Tuesday and get ready to go Wednesday. And speaking of cutting minutes, but you only played 13 minutes. That's probably the fewest you played this year. Uh, seven defensemen. How, how did that work today with seven defensemen? Yeah, uh, I think they, they just wanted to get some other guys uh, some minutes and, Get them a chance to get in, and um, you know I don't have a don't have a problem playing a little less tonight, and uh, getting ready for getting ready for Wednesday. So um, just you know, kind of the way it goes in some of these games. So Mark Spector, Sportsnet. It is. Uh, the, you answered my question a little bit, Tyson. This, the lack of intensity. I mean, it's difficult to be intense. I get it. But guys get hurt when they're not intense, right? Is it? It's these are goofy games to play. I don't know if you played many of them in your career. Um, they're goofy games to watch, and they're kind of weird games to play, aren't they? Yeah, I've been a part of a few of them, and they're always kind of uh, similar to what you just witnessed. So probably not the greatest thing to watch, and um, <laughs> not the most enjoyable to play either. But um, again, we made it out healthy, and everyone's uh, you know knock on wood, everyone's everyone's good to go. So that's kind of the end goal there. Are you uh, the kind of guy that's going to watch the first playoff game tonight? Yeah, for sure. I'll have it on. See, uh, see the atmosphere. We'll see what uh, see what's going on out there, and um, you know, see what the intensity is like. It's uh, it's a weird year. You know, we just finished a game that you know didn't really didn't mean anything, and and you know, there's puck drop in probably an hour on uh, you know on the <laughs> other side. So it's uh, it's uh, it's a weird year, but definitely we'll be tuning in. All right. Thank you. Thank you.